When the James Madison football team wins, this is the scene in the locker room. A constant after every victory during the Duke's incredible 17-game win streak. Except for one game. By the time we got into the locker room, um, you know, it didn't feel like we won. Instead of, you know, singing the fight song, you know, we said a prayer. Trey Sharp learned the game of football from his father, David Sharp a well-respected youth football and basketball coach in their hometown of Carborough, North Carolina. I was seven years old, and I already told my dad, you know, I wanted to be a running back. And so uh, he comes home one day, and he tells me, get my cleats ready, we're going outside. And he had cones set up for me, and he taught me how to hold a football that day and uh, showed me the holes of the line of scrimmage. This summer, Trey was beginning camp for his junior season when he received news about his father. I got a phone call from my mother and you know she had told me that he was in the hospital and he had uh, cancer in his kidney. David's diagnosis was terminal. Trey would spend much of the next month making the four hour drive between Harrisonburg and his home in North Carolina. Then, on September 16th, before the Dukes game against Norfolk State, Trey made a FaceTime call home, like always. It's around six, six o'clock in the morning. He couldn't really say much. Just nodding his head, saying yeah. And it just felt like I had to play the best football game that I could for him. I just remember coming out and just being so zoned in to the game. And it was almost like I was playing with no fans, nobody there, just me, my guys, and the other team. Trey turned in the performance of his career, rushing for two touchdowns and 180 yards. Every time he hit the field, he was like, tack, tack, tack. But early in the fourth quarter, he caught a glimpse of his brother in the crowd. Around the fourth quarter, got the phone call. Wasn't good news, of course. I didn't want to tell him at first. I didn't want to tell him, but he kept looking up. You know, his head was down and he was shaking his head, and that's how I found out. I'm really proud of Trey. He had a great day today, and he's having a tough day today. His uh, dad passed away during the fourth quarter of our game today. So, so, uh, that's probably why the guys aren't real uh, jolly up here. It really didn't even seem like, like we won the game just because we knew that I mean, he was hurting so much. My locker is right next to Trey, so, you know, one thing I said was, you know, you just had the best game of your career, Trey. You know, I just told him, you know, it's special that you know, your dad's last sight, you know, leaving is, uh, is you playing like that. Five days later, head coach Mike Houston and many of Trey's teammates attended the services for David Sharp. The day that his father passed, Trey had a, a big ball game for us on the field. And so we gave him that jersey before the service. And uh, at the end of the service, Trey took that jersey up and put it in his father's casket. It's just a symbol of how much he's done for me and that the, um, just for me being able to wear that jersey and to play this sport is all owed to him 